firstly you're going to want to prime your eyes ready for the makeup application. I'm taking my go-to MAC Painterly Paint Pot for this, so applying it all over the lid and then blending it in with my finger. Then I'm going in with a light coloured eyeshadow, similar to my natural skin tone, just to set everything in place and make sure that when you blend out the eyeshadows later on it's just easier to blend them out. I'm taking a peach coloured shade which is perfect for a transition shade, this is like a warm up transition shade if you like, just blending that into the crease of my eye just to get ready. Then I'm taking a very dark warm brown shade and blending this into the crease of my eye. This is just my absolute favourite go to crease colour, I just think it looks amazing with so many different looks. Then because I wanted a really really deep eyeshadow look, I took Max Carbon which is a black eyeshadow, blended it into the outer corner and then blended it in going towards the inner corner if that makes sense but you can see what I'm doing. Um, and then I took the Tarte Smoky smoky shadow stick and apply this all over to the lid of my eye, this is the purple one, I will have all the products listed on my blog so be sure to check that out. Then after applying that cream base I'm taking the star of the show which is Max Young Punk Mineralize Eyeshadow on a MAC synthetic brush, just dampened my brush with a tiny bit of setting spray and then packed this onto the lid. I took kind of several steps in between this just to blend it out and apply some more till I liked the intensity intensity of it and the way it blended out into the transition of the colours. <laughs> then I peeled off that tape and that's the most satisfying feeling of all time. Then I decided to opt for a different coloured liner. I took NYX's Eyeline and Purple Blaze and then run this under into my waterline. Then I curled my lashes for some lift and applied some mascara in prep for some falsies. You don't have to apply falsies of course but I just like the way it looks. Then before I applied some falsies I just took that purple blaze colour and finished off my lower lash line by smudging it into my lashes really quite thickly and then going over top of that with a light purple eyeshadow just for a little bit of contrast. This is Makeup Geek's pop culture, it's really really nice kind of vivid light purple. Then for the falsies I'm just using my classic Ardell Demi Wispies, nothing too extreme um, just because they're my go-to lashes and I think they make any look. So apply those using some tweezers and some eyelash glue. There are tons of videos on YouTube to see how to apply eyelashes but let me know if you want me to see if I can create one for you. And I've got my eyebrows on, the power of editing. Um, after the eyebrows have been applied, a foundation and all that kind of jazz is all done, um, I'm going to go on to my face makeup. I'm applying a little bit of the NYX Matte Bronzer just to warm up my complexion a bit. And then for blush I took MAC Peaches, which is a really nice peachy blush because it's just not too overwhelming on the cheeks and it goes to any eye makeup look without sort of clashing with the colours. Then of course it's soft and gentle, I don't think I've got any tutorial on my channel where I don't use this, so I'm really sorry guys, I, I need to get any highlighters, just, I just do. Um, after that I just dusted some of that down my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow as well for a pop and a little bit more of a healthier lip. Then for lips I chose Max Saw Lip Liner and literally just used this as the entirety of my lip. This is the finished look guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I shall see you in my next video, thank you so much for watching, bye.